Hey guys, welcome back to part 3 of the tic-tac-toe tutorial. So in the last video we assigned our buttons, we handled clicks on our buttons and we created a method which checks if we have a winner. Now let's get our game to work. So we created these three methods here, player1 wins, player2 wins and draw. Now let's first take care of player1 wins. What do we want to do in here? Of course we want to increment our player1 points variable. So we write player1 points plus plus semicolon. Next we want to show a toast message. Toast.makeText, we pass this for the context. And the text will be player1 wins, just to notify the players. Comma, toast.length short for the length. And lastly we call dot show on our toast, to actually show it. After that we have to update our text views, so they show the updated amount of player points. For this we will create another method, which we will call update points text. We call this method here and we will create it later. And also we want to reset our board to start a new round. For this we will call reset board, which we will also create later. Let's copy this for our player 2 wins. Just change this variable here, player2 points plus plus and player2 wins. And in our draw method we will show a toast message as well. Toast.makeText, this for the context, draw for the text and toast.length short for the length, dot show. And we also want to reset our board here. We don't have to increment any points or update the points text because no player has won. Okay, and now let's create these two methods here, update points text and reset board. And we do this at the bottom. Private void, update points text, and private void, reset board. In our update points text method, we have to take our text view references and update them. Text view player one dot text. Here we create a string, player one colon space and then we append plus player1 points. So we show the points of player1. And the same for text view player2. Set text player2 player2 points. And that's all we have to do in this method. Now let's take care of our reset board method here. Here we basically want to reset all our buttons to an empty string. We set our round count to zero and set our player one turn to true. So the next round player one will start again. So we create a nested loop here as we did before. For int i equals zero, semicolon, i is smaller than three, semicolon, i plus plus. And in here for int j equals zero, j is smaller than three, j plus plus. And in here we simply take all our buttons, which are in this two-dimensional button array, i, j, and set the text to an empty string, like this. So this will loop through all our buttons and reset this text to an empty string. Below this out of for loop, we take our round count variable and set it to zero and reset player one turn to true. Now our game should already work. Let's test it. Okay, so just going to play. And now when I click here, player one should win. This should increment to one. And we see our toast and everything works. Now let's try player two. Works as well. And now let's try a draw. And this should be a draw now. And it works as well. In the next video we will then implement our reset functionality and handle orientation changes. Because right now, if we rotate the device, it will reset the game. Because it destroys and recreates this whole process here. If this was helpful please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care.